Samsung mocks Apple. What a trouble. Hello guys, I hope you are all doing great. We are back. Sad news guys. Samsung Electronics America might find itself at the receiving end of a class action lawsuit concerning the recent cyber attack confirmed by the company last month and the security breach on Samsung's network affected over 3,000 customers whose personal information was stolen. A complaint filed at the U.S. District Court for Nevada a couple of days ago accuses Samsung of not issuing a notification about the data breach in due time and personal information, including contacts, names, birth dates, demographics, and product registration data got stolen from thousands of customers in the United States earlier this summer. The cyber attack took place in June, but Samsung discovered the leak on August 4th and disclosed the issue only about one month later. In September, Samsung launched a full investigation in collaboration with a leading outside cybersecurity firm and confirmed that it is cooperating with law enforcement on the matter. Although the company is clearly taking action against the recent data breach, it may have neglected informing its customers in due time, and this may end up costing it. Then again, security flaws are usually kept under wraps until a fix is devised. Samsung hasn't disclosed much about the recent security attack but anyhow, coincidentally or not, the company recently started updating millions of old Galaxy phones with a hotfix that came out of nowhere and all of these recent firmware updates released for varying aging phones had something in common which is, they addressed a GPS issue. In addition to that piece of news, Samsung is really going all in on Apple with its latest campaign to mock the iPhone 14 series and after a couple of recent ads that took a jab at Apple, Samsung continued its campaign against the Cupertino company's latest flagship phones taking it all to Twitter to remind everyone of a few fun facts. Samsung's recent tweets highlight that the company's been flexing its foldable phones for nearly two and a half years and it essentially mocks Apple for lacking the innovative spirit to join the foldable phone segment. Of course, Samsung Display would most likely be Apple's foldable display supplier, so it's not like Samsung wouldn't gain anything from Apple releasing a foldable phone. Another tweet is taking a jab at Apple for using lower resolution cameras highlighting that Apple uses a 48 MP unit, whereas some of Samsung's flagships have had a 108 MP camera for two and a half years. Samsung is no stranger to poking fun at Apple, so this isn't something entirely new in the world of smartphones. However, after a couple of full-fledged ads, some people are starting to feel a bit like Samsung might be trying too hard to mock Apple, to the point where it comes across as more desperate than anything else. Other Samsung fans appear to be enjoying this campaign of mockery and want the Korean tech giant to continue attacking Apple for its lack of innovation. Either way, it's not a great image for Samsung to be pushing these sorts of mocking ads about Apple when we know how the company handled such things in the past. As a reminder, Samsung mocked Apple for other reasons in ads before, only to later remove said ads and even adopt some of the rival company's philosophies. One year it mocked Apple for removing the wall charger, and then Samsung removed the charger from its own retail boxes. What do you think? Is Samsung in a position to keep mocking Apple's iPhone 14? Is it all in the spirit of fun or should the Korean tech giant tone it down a bit, given its recent history with anti-Apple ads? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. The tech chat is over and I am out.